Dear friends and colleagues, dear youth leaders and change makers, my name is Achim Steiner and I lead the United Nations Development Program or UNDP. Let me begin by congratulating all of you for being selected as delegates to the Youth for Climate Summit. Your engagement in this event demonstrates how you are not afraid to speak truth to power and more and more people are now listening. At UNDP, we conducted the world's largest ever poll on climate change using our Mission 1.5 gaming app. The people's climate vote found that in every country, younger people felt much more strongly that climate change is an emergency compared to older people, with 69% of those under the age of 18 saying so. From Algeria to Argentina, from Chile to Colombia, from Iraq to Italy, nearly 8 million vocal protesters across 185 countries came out to spark climate action in the year 2019 before the pandemic hit. It spotlighted the ever-growing global community of young climate activists. Not only are your voices having an effect, they are now more important than ever. We now have an unprecedented opportunity to reboot the way our economies and societies work as the recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic starts to lift off, at least in some parts of the world. But all of us, including young people, must ensure that governments insert the DNA of a green economy in transition into all recovery and stimulus measures as we move forward. That is because the decisions that countries take in the coming months will impact not just this generation or the next, but for many generations to come. For instance, if they continue to invest in fossil fuels, they will lock in carbon pollution for years to come. However, if they promote clean renewable energy, they could set the world on a pathway to net zero emissions. At the same time, this would bring power to homes and hospitals and schools for the first time in many parts of the world and create millions of decent green jobs and livelihoods. At UNDP, we are supporting 119 countries at the moment to enhance their climate ambition through our climate promise and their NDCs. And young people are an intrinsic part of this process in countries like Vietnam, Nigeria or North Macedonia. As a result, we are seeing how countries are starting to steer away from fossil fuels as the cost of renewables continues to plunge and public opinion backing decarbonization continues to soar. The world's young people today, some 1.8 billion strong, can tip the balance in the right direction at this seminal moment. In particular, the career choices that you now make will have considerable impact on the planet's trajectory. That is because the largest generation of young people in history is now entering our workforce. Moreover, we cannot go back to our pre-COVID economic pathways and behaviors. All of us need to embrace a sustainable, a more sustainable lifestyle. Small changes in our day-to-day -day activities, from what we eat and consume to how we travel to school, university or work, can help to drive forward wider transformative change. Consider the opportunities associated with the UN-led generation restoration. It involves bringing back plants and animals from the brink of extinction from the peaks of mountains to the depths of the sea. Generation restoration is also about the small actions that all of us can take every day. Growing trees, greening our cities, rewilding our gardens or cleaning up rubbish alongside rivers and coasts. By getting our hands dirty, we can help stem the tide of climate change. Young people will lead this UN decade on ecosystem restoration. So, I invite you to join an initiative already underway or indeed start your own. We need real change if we are going to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. That shift can start with you, the welcome generation, who actively welcome the change we need. And with this shift, there is now an extraordinary hope to realize that greener, more sustainable future that we so often invoke. As part of this process, I invite you to engage with our UNDP teams at country, regional or global levels. For instance, by participating in our upcoming Youth Climate Tour. 
The next edition, on the 5th of October of this year, will feature Massimo Mazzocco, one of your fellow Youth for Climate delegates from Argentina, and one of the Generation 17 leaders, which is supported by UNDP and Samsung in our partnership. Finally, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to the Governor of Italy, the Youth for Climate delegates, and to all our partners for organizing this event. I hope, one way or another, to meet many of you, determined as ever, and equipped with bold new ideas at COP26. Thank you.